in. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. How's it going? How are you tonight? I'm fine. Thanks. And you, teacher? I'm doing great, too. I'm very happy. Today's Thursday. We're closing. How about you, Marielena? How are you? Yeah, fine. Very tired, teacher, but happy. Yeah. But I feel in good. <laughs> awesome. Great. Okay. So tell me, what did you do today? I was, I was working. Working, okay. From what time to what time? What was your schedule? At, at seven o'clock. Okay. Okay. Or from, 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 from seven o'clock at two, five. Five p.m. Five p.m. From seven o'clock to seven, to five p.m. Okay. So you're tired. Jonathan, what do you do? What do you work on? What's your um, um assistant of finance financial assistant yes fi financial assistant oh. at Haynes Brand at Salvador and, oh my god that's that's a very heavy job yes a lot of purse money how do you feel how do you feel after seeing all that amount you know of money all so many numbers you know so much money and it's not you <laughs> and i i feel uh, i think that i need so much money <laughs> you're like oh, all right <laughs> yeah not mine okay do you like your job Yes, I like it. Good. Like it. That's the most important thing in the world. If you like what you do, if you love what you do, then you're fine. That's that's important. Great job. Marilena. Yes, sir. Okay, good. <laughs> How are you doing with the classes? Uh, how, how, sorry? How, how are you doing with your classes? With my classes? You're, you teach, right? Yeah, it's tired. Today, no, um, today, um, it, I did, uh, with two groups um younger people um uh, uh we're talking about um uh, how do you say autoesteem self-esteem self self-esteem okay we are talking about uh self-esteem and i have 25 part, uh, participants mm -hmm. uh, and they are uh, they are for um, community uh, communities rurales i don't know how say. rural communities what? rural, com rural com communities okay they are rural communities and I feel him very, very nice uh, talking with her. It's very nice talking to them. 
talking with them yeah with them with them okay what ages what are their ages ah the ages of um, uh, um, between 13 14 15 years old they're teenagers yeah it's very teen excellent thank you Alvin. okay so are they kids under risk kids under risk Uh, you know, here in El Salvador, uh, here in El Salvador, we tag, we tag yeah. kids. Yes, go. We, uh, the, then, these younger? These youngers? Good. Yeah. Are they yeah. teenagers on the risk? Like the risk of becoming drug addicts or gang members? No, no, uh, no, they are students of uh, third, third cycle. Okay, you say high school. Uh -huh. That's the spelling, high school. I misspelled it. I'm sure I misspelled it. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dyslexia High School. Okay, great job, Maria. Do you like your job? Uh, yeah. Love it. I know teaching is an amazing experience. I, yeah, it is beautiful experience. Um, for I, I can help them. Um, uh, in your life, it is uh, abilities uh, for life. Are your classes magisterial classes or participative? My street class uh, is, or is, is participal. It's participal. Is, it is, it must is must um er, how do you say uh, it, it is i for is it various activity uh, today playing bachillerato stop it's very good experience for them yes uh, they, yeah it, it, it's, ah, super cool. And um, yeah. <laughs> I like playing that with. Yes, we played. We haven't played many games actually. And it's because I have, you know, I have tried to stick to the program yeah. and module, try to stick with the topic, which is brand awareness, marketing, you know, product life cycle, all of those topics. We have to cover those topics. But I totally recommend you to be very, um, to have a participa uh, participative class. I'm, yeah. I'm getting certified. I'm getting certified by the OIT, by the, I forgot the acronym in English. You know what is OIT, right? OIT. Yeah, the International mm -hmm. Law, I'm sorry, the International Labor uh, Organization. Whoa. ILO, 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 mm -hmm. ILO, yeah. Okay, mm. I'm getting. Yeah, uh, I tell you, playing and learning. It's not because it's the only it's form. Mostly is what I have been doing with you guys. I like you to give your opinion, your ideas. You know, that's participation. I mean, you have to participate. In any topic, you give the idea, you start the conversation, and it's you the one giving up, making the class. That's very important. So thank you, Marilena. Let's keep up the good work. 
I'm gonna leave you with that phrase. Keep up the good work. Okay. Your job is outstanding. Outstanding. Your job is outstanding. Okay. Anybody else who works in education? Alvin, right? I think you do work in education. Mm -hmm. Alvin is a teacher. Hey, by the way, Alvin, are you teaching online too? Uh, yeah, all day. <laughs> all day. Do you think teach that all day uh, from 7.50 to uh, 5.30 every day. 7.50 to 5.30. Yeah, because I have two jobs. I work in the morning with ABC and in the in the in the afternoon? With three thirty to, to five thirty with Colegio Champagnat. Okay. That's good, but those are Spanish classes, right? History. <laughs> in 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 both cases I work only in Spanish. <coughs> For now. For now. <laughs> no, but uh, every yeah. meeting is, is in English. That's in ABC. Every meeting with meeting with the um with the other teachers, I guess, or they, yeah. They, and the ABC and the Champagnat, uh, the students, uh, 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 every chance they have, uh, talk me in, talk, talk to me in, in English. Talk to me in English. Only for review, my, my advances. <laughs> Just. Just, just to check what? My advances in English. Advanced. Advanced. My advanced. Advanced. Okay. Advances. Yeah. Yeah. My improvements. That's the word. My improvements. Yeah. To check my improvements. Okay. How good your improvement, not, <laughs> improvement means mejorías. Sounds better. Yeah. Okay. In improving. Sort of the same thing. Okay, good. Um, so, how do we? How do, how do you want to start this session? I want you to decide. I'm missing one thing already. <laughs> Sorry, give me one second. Ah, oh, I'm. I don't get used to guys. I'm sorry. Today is our. our I mean, tomorrow is our last day. Together. So, uh, Rafael. Yeah, we will have a will we have um, a final test or something tomorrow on the platform. Everything, guys, is on the platform. You have to do all of the homeworks to close the module. And lo voy a decir en español porque es muy importante esto que acabamos de mencionar con Alvin. Tienen que completar todas sus tareas en la plataforma y además eh, sus exámenes, los midterm y el final, ¿sí? el cual ya, ya tienen acceso a él, pero si no se sienten seguros, pues espérense que terminemos todos los topics, todos los temas y puedan realizar sus pruebas. De igual manera, si lo quieren hacer desde ahora para dejar todo listo ya para mañana o mañana durante el día, me pueden escribir y voy a estar muy al pendiente mañana todo el día. De, de que todos hayan terminado todos sus ejercicios para que ya al llegar a la noche eh, a las 9 pm que, termine, que tengamos a las 9 pm mañana vamos a hacer un, un receso y pues nos vamos a dedicar de lleno a hacer la encuesta para los que no lo han hecho aún eh, la, lo idóneo era hacerlo juntos paso a paso para asegurarnos de no equivocarnos y entender por ejemplo llenar son uh, Es la parte, no sé cómo llamarle, sin llamarle burocracia eso, perdón, pero eh, es la parte for, for, un criterio. formal. Un criterio formal que se debe de cumplir eh, según las estipulaciones de INSAFORP. Y perdón por la apariencia, me estoy dejando la barba y el pelo. Este, ya. Yeah. Alvin. Sí, eh... Um... Lo mismo, eh, al momento de llenar el, el, la encuesta, es cierto, hay unas preguntas que se responden exactamente como aparece en el correo que a uno le enviaron. ¿Cómo se llama el módulo? ¿Cómo se llama la institución que te manda a ti? Por ejemplo, yo casi me equivoco. 
yo iba a poner colegio champañat, pero realmente el, la, razón, la razón social del colegio no se llama así. Se llama eh, eh, hermanos maristas, algo así, pero no se llama colegio champañat. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, incluso el nombre de nuestro módulo tiene su propio nombre. Entonces, eh, cabal, es de copiar, pegar, ¿verdad? No, no es de inventar. Exacto. Thank you very much. Ese es el punto. Por eso quería que esperáramos hasta mañana. Igual, si ya lo rellenaron y no les han dicho, miren, eh, mire, háganme el favor de repetir su encuesta o algo, ¿verdad? Eh, para corregir esas eh, deficiencias, pues no hay problema. Mañana a las nueve de la noche vamos a hacer una pausa para llenarlo todos juntos. Eh, yo, no, yo no les voy a ir diciendo, pone esto, pone lo otro, porque eso es muy personal, sino que les voy a ir guiando nada más en detalles como el que acaba de mencionar el hermano, digo, el compañero Albi. <ríe> Ahí, perdón. The brother. The brother. Ok. Ojo, no me equivoqué. Dice. Ok, good. Entonces, uh, ese era un comercial nada más. Ok, let's check the attendance really quick. Ok. Today is the third. Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza. Here. Okay, let me make the view to see all of you at the same time. Good. Uh, Marvin Josué Aguilar Martinez. Here. Ricardo Alexander Rodriguez Guzmán. Here. Please, your camera. Berta Patricia Alemán de Argueta. Not here. Okay. Ismenia Abigail Trejo Hernández. Here. Okay. Thank you. Xiomara Hernández de Linky. No se nos unió. Okay. Alvin José Silva Romero. Present. Marilena Tamayo Ventura. Here. Que fue la segunda. Very good. Eugenia de la Paz Jiménez. Eunice, teacher. Eunice, Here. porque siempre digo Eugenia. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jonathan Alexander Castillo Ramos. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Jacqueline Giovanna. Where's that? Okay, she's not here. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Calderón. Okay, Jose Ernesto Molina Guzmán. Melissa Ibeth Aguilar Flores. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Here. Thank you, sir. Saida Carolina Hernandez Flores. Here. Thank you. Walter Abraham Hernandez Sanchez. Francisco Adrián Martinez Villalobos. Frank is not here. Okay. Maria Soledad Gomez. Here. Thank you. Vanessa Alexander Ortiz Cedillos. No. Aleida Raquel Vázquez Uncin tampoco. Okay. Here, teacher. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ellie. Good guys. So today, let's. How do you want to start the session? I want you to be creative. What do you want to do? Hmm. <laughs> I knew. I knew you were going to jump and say something like, "Yeah, let's play hmm. some." I leave it up to yeah. you. <laughs> We only have ten more minutes, so to do the warm up. Carla, decide you. Carla, you decide. You decide, you decide. Imperative. It's up to you. It's up to you, Carla. It's up to you. Hey, the ball is in your court. Uh, I don't know. I can't have to stop. Oh my God, really? <laughs> okay, I think I have a set of bachillerato stop around here. Yeah, I do have it. Let me open it quick. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna do this just for 10 minutes, so let's get hairy. Okay. So if you don't remember how it works, I think you do remember, right? You remember how, how to play Bachirato Stop? Is there a name in English for this thing? It's already Bachelors, in Bachelor Stop. <laughs> bachelors, Bachelors. Bachelor stop. Bachelor stop. Yeah. High school stop. <laughs> High school stop. Okay, so for example, let's make an example. Let's do this all together, okay? Give me a name with A. Alvin. <laughs> That's very simple. Okay. Give me a verb. Awake. Awake. Okay. A thing. Thing. Mm. An object. 
aerosol. Ah, oh, come on, that's that's aerosol. aerosol. That's the same. Air. 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 Okay. Color. In English, color. Don't say a fool. A fool. <laughs> Aviana. <laughs> oh, come on. No. Uh, that's that's actually um hazel. Hazel eyes. Maroon five. Hazel eyes. Okay, hazel, no. A A A. Color with A. Almond. 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 Mm. Almond. Amber. 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 Yeah. Cool. Great job, Jose. Thanks to Google. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an animal. An animal. And. Hey, good. Thank you. Country. Well, Argentina. 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 Okay, food. Um. Almond. 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 Uh, what is what is an almond? Isn't it a fruit? It's yeah. A, it's a seed. It is a seed. It's a. Yeah, it's a fruit. Seed. So it's a. Yeah, it's a Vegetable or it's a fruit. It's a fruit. It's yeah, a fruit. Fruit. Okay. What about a food? Food with a um a rose. A rose. <laughs> <laughs> a rose. <laughs> Come on. Food with. Come on, Google it. Uh, arepa. 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 No, the spelling, okay. Fruit or vegetable? Avocado. Apple. 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 Apple, avocado, good. Almond. And that's the way you do it, okay? Let's continue. Alvin, give me a letter. F. 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 Franklin. Felix. Francisco. Okay, verb. Fun? Fun? No. I thought about... Fine. Fine. Fine? Oh, fun. fine. Fine. To find something. Fly. Good job. Fly. 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 Yeah, fly. Find. Okay, good. A thing. Something. Fork. Fork. That sounds good. Fork. Come on, guys. Color. Fork shit. Fork shit. <laughs> How do you I think that's the way? Fuchsia. Right? Fuchsia? Fuchsia? Okay. No, S C. S S C. F U F C. C. I A. Uh, okay. Fuchsia. 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 <laughs> Good. Animal? <laughs> don't say. Uh, I don't. Boca. <laughs> <laughs> F F. Falcon. 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 Good. Excellent. Carla, excellent. Uh, Fox. Okay. Country. Finland. Finland. France. Finland. France. 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 <laughs> Marilena. Aha. Uh -huh. Finland. Yeah, right. Okay. Food. In English. <laughs> French potato. Potatoes. Fish. Let's say fries. 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 French potatoes are the same as fries. Okay. Fish. Fish. Good. Jonathan, fish. Fruit or vegetable? Mm. Um. <laughs> Come on. With F. Oh my God. Can't think of any any fruit or vegetable with F in English. Okay. Google it. <laughs> yeah. Google it. Come on, we're we're getting vocabulary here. That's the whole point. Fruit or vegetable. 
Okay. Um, um, fig. Fig. Yes, fig. What is fig? Eagle, creo. Eagle, yeah. Yes, that's F-I-G, eagle. Thank you. Um, Ana Maria, give me, I'm sorry, Maria Elena. <laughs> Maria Elena, give me a letter. L. L. Okay, a name in it's very difficult. Laura. Laura. <laughs> Laura. Laura. You don't say Laura in English. You say Laura. 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 Like. What? Like. Like. Live. 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 Okay, live. 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 Okay. Hold on. Live. Like that. Okay. Good. <laughs> Go with. That's my ex. Totally. Okay. A thing. Um. Come on. Line. Library. Wait. Wait. What? Alida. Library. Library. Okay. Yeah, I thought you were going to say light. Lemon. Color lemon. <laughs> Lila. Color Lila or lemon? Lila. Yeah. Yeah. Lemon is, is, is lemon a color? Hmm. Yes, green lemon. It's Lila, like, right? I che let's check it. I Google it and appear the lemon, like, the color. Lemon, okay. <laughs> lemon tree, okay. Beautiful song. Animal. Lion. lion. Of course, everybody, lion. Any other? Luxembourg. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that? Lux. L U. L U X E. Uh -huh. oh. R G O. Lidia. That's Spanish. Lavia. Without the O. <laughs> Without the Laos. 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 Laos is a country, right? Yeah. Okay. Food. Lamb. What? Lasagna. Lamb. Yeah. Lasagna. Lasagna. What is lamb, Carla? Lemon. Lemon fruit. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. What is lamb, Carla? Cordero. Oh, yes. Cordero. I knew it. I heard that. With, With a B at the end. Yeah, but I was thinking about. MB. Even the plate is called lamb. Yeah, that's interesting. Yes. Okay, uh, Jacqueline said lemon again. Is that okay? Lime. Lime. What else? Lime. Nice. You are in your element. <laughs> I like food. <laughs> Nathan, give us a different. M. M. Okay, English names. An English name. Mariah. Matthew. <laughs> Mark Anthony. Matthew, okay. Mark Anthony. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Mark. <laughs> okay. A verb. <laughs> Make. Move. Make. Make. Move. Come on. Make. Move. Yeah. Movie. Miss. Mark. Mark to mark something good. Okay, one thing. Movie. A movie. What else? Motor. Me. Mark. Color. Okay, color. Me, me. I don't know how to pronounce. M I N T. Oh, mint. Mint. Okay, good. Thank you, Google. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> An animal. Monkey. Monkey. Yes. Mouse. Any other mouse? A mouse. A mouse. 
Mexico. Mexico. Mexico, of course. Okay. Mango. Manchester is a city. Monster. Mango. 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 Mango is a fruit. Yes, a fruit. What about food? Meat. Mexican tortas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, meat. <laughs> meat. Very good. Okay. What about mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes. Okay. Mushroom. Mushroom. Okay. The last one, Carlita. The last letter. Uh, B. Boy or Victor? Boy. B is in boy. Okay. Name. Boris. Brittany. <laughs> Brian. Okay. Brian. Thank you. A verb with B. Bye. Broke. Broke. Bold. Break. 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 Broke. Broken. Okay, good. Any other? You said, I'm sorry, who's, who said book? Think. Bold. Think. Hold on. Colors with B. Blue. Animals B. I'm getting Boss. Here. Boss? Okay. Color, you said blue. Okay. Animal? B. E. Beetle. Beetle. B, the beetle. Okay. Country. Belize. Burundi. Belize. What? Burundi. Burundi. You're Googling it? Like, yeah. Burundi is in Africa. Yeah. And that's a country. That's not a country. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Yes, it is. Wow. Yeah. Food. Um... Mm. Beans. Yes, of beans. Beans. Banana. Banana. Blackberry. Uh, come on, give me something more difficult. Blackberry. Blackberry. Even more difficult. Berry. What is a bit? I don't know. Hold on. Is it bit or bit? Google it. Google it. Google it. Bit or bit? Or is it beat? Ah, do you, do you say um, remolacha? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, remolacha. Beat is remolacha. How do you spell it? B E T. The way it is? B E E T, okay. Or B-I-T. Okay. I remember that word that is because... Correct. That is correct. I remember that word because I want to discuss with a, a British with me. Hmm. Uh, their sugar is from Kenya. But I say, no, your sugar is from the beet. Why? And we Google it, the information, and I won. You won. It was from beet. Yeah. Yeah, in Europe, uh, the sugar is from the beet. They make sugar from beet. They make sugar from beet. Sugar. Europe. Exactly. I didn't know that. You can make sugar from beet. Well, that makes sense. Well, if you want... Um, that's, healthier. that's healthier, I think. Yeah. Believe me or not. <laughs> yeah, that sounds crazy, but it sounds healthier. Okay, good guys. That was bachillerato stop. Bachelor stop. Okay. High school stop. What? High school stop. Okay. Good. So let's move on. Today we have a mission and we have to learn uh, some new things. Okay, let me see where it was. We have to talk about double negatives. Okay. Just to make sure, let me pull up your um, thingy here. One second. We are on page 37 on your workbook. 
But before this, do you know what? We have to go with something else. We have to go with a conversation to get more vocabulary. So we're, we're still in unit four. Discriminate effective from ineffective ways to increase brand awareness. Okay, discriminate effective from ineffective ways to increase brand awareness. Let's start with the opening questions as usual, okay? The, the pre-task. So what is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? It's an amazing question. What is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? Tell me, what do you think? Hey, Frank is here. Welcome, Frank. Hey, Frank. Good quality. Good quality? The quality of your product? But... Experience. Experience. But, yeah, but listen to good comments. Uh, social media, maybe teaching. Advertising. Advertising is the best way to get customers. The offer. Oh, okay. yeah, the, the advantage. Advantages, advantages of your product. Advantages, yes. The quality. Yeah, wait. Can you, <laughs> can you identify quality on a product if you haven't tried it? If you haven't tried it? If you haven't tried it, tried it. So the first time you see it, you're like, hmm. You look at the details, right? But you haven't tried it, so. Best. The presentation. The presentation. I will say so. I will say the way to get customers' attention towards your product is to make your the package. The package, the packaging. Then the name packaging. of the brand. The name. Remember, the brand is the first thing that gets into your mind and goes like, buy me, get me, get me. Right? It's very important. Okay. How will you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? At this point, with what we have started so far, how would you define ineffective or effective ways to increase awareness? Any idea? Mm. Using star rocks in the in the marketing. Star, I'm sorry. I don't know. Sorry, sorry. I I, I think in the in the in the in the first phrase. Sorry. Who would you define? Ineffective and effective ways. Let me give you an example from, from my the stats. Stats? Yeah. How come? Uh, if the if the brand sell, you can see that in the in the in the, in the stats. And that telling to you if your marketing is good or not, if the product is accepted or not. Uh, yeah, but how would you define? Okay, so if your sales don't grow, you the, can you can see uh, your product is in effect in the market. Now we're not yeah. talking about the product being effective or ineffective. We're talking about the ways to increase awareness. So let me give you an example. Um, when if you I create a patient Facebook and nobody. Uh, say like it the page the page the page is one of the ways to increase brand awareness okay to increase awareness so having a website is it good or bad is it effective or ineffective to have a website effective. having ineffective why well, having is, is effective. effective is that effective. Think is ineffective. That ineffective. Why, Jose? I think Jose is talking. Yeah, because I think uh, you 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 need to um, turn around, right, to your, your clients to see that page. Okay, is the first thing. If you don't make a good uh, advice, a good ad, never oh, your clients never visit it, right? Right. Your clients will never visit it. Great. We'll never visit. It. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't make and we be about your yeah. website, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's effective, right? Yeah. But you need it to uh, to be um, 
right? Uh, you, you need to create ads, you need to create uh, a video or song, and the people say material, right? Yeah, to, or to, to, to put the eyes of your the, the client, right, in your page. Or at least mouth to mouth uh, publicity. Yeah. Right? Great job. Yeah. That's true. Thank you, Jose. Okay, so an ineffective way will be just creating the website. To make it effective, you have to spread the word. You have to spread the word and everybody needs to know that your website exists. That's very complex. So ineffective, ineffective way, an ineffective way will be just throwing a discount promotion. Let me give you an example. There is an, an English academy, a very popular English academy. I'm not saying names, okay? But there's a, a very popular, very popular English academy, who is all, which is always, which is always promoting, giving promotions, you know, of 50% of 60% of 70% of on TV. Two for one? Yeah, two by one, you know, and they're always with these promotions. Do you, do you find that a positive marketing or negative marketing? Um, I remember one who every, everybody in, in my school uh, sing the, the promotion, the, the comp promotional. I don't want to see the names. <laughs> I don't want to see names. <laughs> I don't want to say names. But uh, the kids always uh, laughing with uh, the, the, how do you say? Spot. Limitation. limitation. Oh, they always mean it. Okay. Yeah. Fake. Fake. Imitation like uh, they impersonification. They mimic. Impersonation. Mimic. Mimic. Okay. And sound like opera. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know. So, but looking at so many discounts, I mean, the first thing I do is I think, why are they selling their product so cheap? What happened? I mean, is it? No, I don't. I don't trust. I don't trust. That's the the word. When I see uh, a company or a product being discounted so much. Okay. Now, there are effective ways to increase awareness, like in this movie, Adam Sandler, Don't Mess with Sohan. For example, there is a, there is a business, there is a business name yeah. running out of, going out of business. The story is named Going Out of Business. So like, that's a very, you know, it gets into your mind, right? Going out of yeah. business. So it means that they're selling everything. They're selling everything. Oh, good. Let's go there. <laughs> they give a plus in his in, in his business. <laughs> yeah, it's a plus. It was very creative. Great. Very creative, creative name. Creative, yeah. Store. Okay, so and services. In the back door. <laughs> Ad services. Ad services, yeah. Okay. So the brand, the brand tells a lot about your product. It's one of the first things. Okay, so again, page 36, you have a conversation. I'm going to read it first, and then I will split you for a few minutes so you can practice, okay? Olivia and Leo are brainstorming our ideas about branding for Olivia's online business. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. So let's see. Page 36. And it says, I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness? Hmm, that's not correct, designing happiness. Okay, I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. 
But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Any new words? No? Mm. No? Okay. Mm. Yeah, this is no. very simple vocabulary, guys. So I'll split the class right now. Let's go ahead and uh, put this in practice. Role play, that's the, that's the word. Let's role play the conversation, okay? Make sure you practice okay. with your classmate. I'm sending the picture, the image right now to the WhatsApp group. Any questions before I split you guys into groups? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Let's go. We're gonna be working a lot today and on the book. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, okay, we practice. Yeah. Could you share the image in the screen? Um, yeah, yes, I can. But okay. uh, let me thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan, you can okay. Can you see the image? Yeah, Jonathan. Sure. Yes. Sure. Okay. We we start. I am Olivia. Good, I am Leo, Leo. Okay. I trying to set an online business selling homemade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you change it at the least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan. Designing, designing happiness that is not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I make day, but you know, it makes it, it look original. You mean, you never notice anything. I think you better hire a consult, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, Jonathan. Okay, um, Maria Elena, start. Oh. I am trading to set an online business. Handmade dresses. No, nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed I noticed your change at last five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I 
never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake. When I made it, but you know it, it looks original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. I am Olivia. Wow, sorry. It's correct. Something before moving on. Before moving on. Um, so, trying to correct um, Josue first. You were saying chair, chair, and you say share. Sh share. Okay. Uh, share. 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 Sure. Okay. Um, also, you say higher, higher, to higher. Mm -hmm. Higher, higher. Higher. Consultant, right? They Consultant. will help you. Jonathan, they will help you. They will help you. That's it. Okay. They will help They, they will help you. you. Help you. Help you. Help you. Pew, pew, pew. Right. Help you. <laughs> okay. Very good. Let's continue. Practice, practice, practice. Continue, guys. Okay. 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 I, I am designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Good. We did good. We are. Okay, I just came, but let's see. Um, so when you have this guy at the beginning of a sentence, when you have it at the beginning of a sentence, it sounds like it. So in other words, when it is a sub, when it is a subject, when it is a subject, it sounds like it. But when it is an object when it is the object of the sentence it sounds strictly like it okay so makes it makes it. made it made it where is it i i can find it hold on okay uh it makes it it makes it look original it makes it look original um when i made it okay so it's the third paragraph one two three third paragraph I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, when I made it. But you know, and the pronunciation of boot is but, but, okay? It makes it, it makes it, okay? That's all, other than that, great job. So at, it at the beginning, at, at the end, okay? Continue. Okay, teacher. Jacqueline, I like that. Okay, I am trying to set an, an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I, I noticed you changed and at least five times last week and fix spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it made it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with your business. Okay, great job. Let's see. 
really quick. Uh, so you have you say handmade, 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 handmade. Uh, later you say stop, stop. Yeah, your homework will be to sing in the shower. To sing in the shower. Stop. In the name of love, stop in the name. Oh my God, sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> then you go. <laughs> okay, the word noticed. 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 You, noticed. Uh -huh. You changed it. 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 I changed it. Noticed. So it says, I noticed you changed it. I noticed you changed it. I noticed you change. Change it. 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 Okay. It makes it. It makes it. It makes it. Makes it. it. Very good. Good job. Okay. Continue practicing, guys. Now, get, try to give intonation. At this level, you need to work on intonation. Good job, Alida. The rest, work on intonation, right? I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Okay, you can do it. Gabriel, I know it's gonna be difficult for you, but you know what it is. Okay, let's go, <laughs> continue guys, you can do it. Thank you. Uh, you me, you do not know uh, any, anything, Olivia. To start your call, stop chunk, chunking the logo of your business. I know you change, change, change in X as least five times last week and um, fix, fix the spin in your slogan. The thing happiness does does not correct. Correct. So. That's not correct. Okay. Uh -huh. I never That's noticed. Not... Exactly. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it make it look original. You me you never. Nothing, nothing. I think you're better here. Here, uh, consul, consultant Olivia, they will help you with the business. Okay. Okay, good job. Let's talk about this. Ricardo, necesito que te quedes ahora al final de la clase, ¿ok? Yes. Por favor, no se te va a olvidar. Todos se van a ir. Tú, tú te quedas, ¿ok? Junto con otros compañeros que yo voy a mencionar. Pero porfa, no, se, no salir de hasta que yo te lo diga, ¿ok? Good. So, let's see. Um, could stop. You said, Richard, could. Could. Repeat. Ah. Could. Cool. Cool. Okay, look. Good. Like that. Could. Good. Good. Look at the chat. Take a look at the chat. Could. Could. Cool. Could. Could. Also, you also say stop. Ah, cool. Stop. Stop. Yeah, don't say stop. No. Stop. Ah. Don't say stop. Or oh, stop? No. Stop. Stop. Yeah, stop. 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 There you go. You got it. Stop. Stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. I noticed, Frank, I noticed. I noticed. There you go. Changed it. Changed it. Yeah, it said, I noticed you changed it. I noticed you changed it at least. There was a. What do you mean? Never. I noticed. Oh, Olivia, to start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week. 
Okay. I notice you changed it. Okay. I notice you changed it. You changed it. Changed it. Very good. There you go. And for spelling. 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 Yeah. Estamos acostumbrados que las palabras no tengan una E antes de la S o que empiecen solo con la S. Pues. So let's, let's get used to it. Acostumbrémonos, ¿ok? Es spelling. Ricardo, okay. al final de la clase te quedas, te voy a decir cómo mejorar rapidísimo eso, eh, la pronunciación, ¿ok? Good. Súper rápido. Yes. Sí. Good, guys. Ok, continue. Keep practicing. Come on. Ok. Ok. Again. Uh, again. Uh, Olivia, uh, Eu, you are going to be Olivia and me, Leo. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to set an online business selling hand nail dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, Designing Happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know it may look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, and Ricard with Maria. Okay. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Ricardo. Ricardo. Okay, let's continue. Okay, the attendance? Yes, thank you, Josue. Okay, let's just wait. You're welcome. <laughs> Somebody wants an extra point. Okay. Ah, really? <laughs> two? Oh, <man. laughs> at least two, at least. Okay. Uh, yeah like that attitude but no okay let's continue let's go Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza hey, here here <laughs> there you go Marvin Josue Aguilar Martinez here Ricardo Alexander Rodriguez Guzman here Berta Patricia Lemán Dergueta here teacher excellent welcome Ismenia Abigail Trejo Hernández. Xiomara Hernández de Linky. Show me, show me, show me. No, I'm here. Okay. Alvin Jose Silva Romero. Present. Thank you. María Elena Tamayo Ventura. Thank you. Eunice de la Paz Jiménez. Here. Jonathan Alexander Castillo Ramos. Yes, sir. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Calderón. Here, teacher. José Ernesto Molina Guzmán, Melissa Iveda Aguilar Flores, Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Here. Carolina Hernández Flores. Here. Walter Abraham Hernández Sánchez. Francisco Adrián Martínez Villalobos. Here, teacher. Thank you. María Soledad Gómez. Here. Vanessa Alexander Ortiz Cedillos. And Aleida Raquel Vázquez Sunsin. Here, teacher. Okay, guys, so we are all together. Great job. So, about that, um, that conversation really quick. Okay. 
So talking about that conversation, um, I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Is that a correction? What do you think about that sentence? Is that correct or wrong? I don't know correct. anything. I don't know anything about branding or marketing, right? Actually, Leo corrects her. You mean you don't know not anything? You don't know anything? It's because yeah. you, you, you can to do two um, negative things. You can the same sentence. You can't to do. You can to do. <sighs> Come on, correct yourself. Correct yourself, Alvin. You can do it. You can ah, to do. Okay. Ah, sorry. Uh, you can to do. You can do. No. You can do. Can do. That's it. Remember. Do. You don't, need, um, you don't need the two. You don't need the preposition. You can't do. You can't make double negatives. That's you can make two, two negation in the same uh, sentence. Right. Another way to say that will be you can't neglect twice. Neglect is negar. And it, it is the, the way it sounds, neglect. Okay. Yes, you can make double negative. So I don't know anything about branding or marketing. What about, I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake. Anybody? Correct. Correct. Never... Right. Exactly. I never noticed. Noticed? Noticed nothing about the spelling. Okay, but that's incorrect. I never noticed nothing. No. I never noticed anything. Any anything. That's right. I never noticed anything. Because never is the first neglect. Yeah, never makes a, a positive sentence negative. Never makes a positive sentence negative. Okay, so how come? Can somebody translate that question? How come? I said it, I said it once. What's the meaning? Yeah. How come? Maybe the next step, mm -hmm. ah. the next episode. <laughs> how come, Jose? How come? How come? Is oh, it's possible? No, translate the question. How come? Mm -hmm. vamos. Sorry, Jonathan? Como vamos? Uh -oh. Very Salvadorian. Very Salvadorian. Como así? Yes, Eunice, you got it. Como así? How come? Okay. So if I tell you how come? Frase de mara opuesta, como así? How come? Exactly, that's the point. Okay, how come? Let me explain you really quick. Okay, let's go with the presentation and then you will move on with your presentation. So double, double negative. Double negatives. This is a very simple, very simple grammar uh, topic and you will find it on your book too. So negative words keep in mind this no not none nothing not thing nowhere neither or neither both pronunciations neither 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 american neither british nobody nobody no one Alicia Keys, no one, no one, okay? Hardly, 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 scarcely, scarcely, hmm. or scarcely, barely. I barely believe this. Okay, any new words? Barely. Hardly. It's scarcely. 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 
<laughs> scarcely is barely. <laughs> the last three words. <laughs> Good. Okay. So you know neither. You know neither. 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 Yeah. Yes. Tampoco. Yeah, that's the close translation of the word. Yes. What about uh, scarcely? I, I said it in one of our first video conferences. I played a video for you of uh, a guy talking about abundance, abundance and scarcely. I remember. What, what, what? So if you have abundance, it's the opposite of abundance. It's the opposite. Mm -hmm. Scarcely. What is the opposite of abundance? Is the an the antonym poorly poorly the lack of lack of oh. lack of you got it in Spanish escasez escasez escasamente escasez very good escasamente right. here you have it as a what is it adverb it is an adverb here with l y remember scarcely okay barely Barely legal. Barely legal. And that's right. What you sell is barely legal. Mm -mm. Okay, so barely. Almost. Almost. Okay. Can somebody translate that word for me, please? I'm not allowed to speak Spanish today. In Spanish. What's Cassie. Cassie, almost. Thank you. Beautiful Spanish. Let's move on. Apenas. Apenitas. A duras penas. Okay. Utualito. And nativo. Utualito, let's go with this. Sentences that contain double negatives are grammatically, grammatically incorrect sentences. Example. They don't have nothing. What you just saw. They don't have nothing. What will be the right grammar? For this sentence, they don't have nothing. They don't have anything or any. Okay, that's one. Don't, don't have any. They have nothing. They have nothing. Good, Gabriel. They have nothing. They have nothing. Okay, so there's a third form, is it? Is there another way? What? Okay, just another so way. Yeah, so, so far, so far, you said, Aleida said, they don't have anything. They don't have anything. Gabriel said, they have nothing. They have nothing. Is there a third form? They don't have. They don't have? They have anything. Wait, 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 Jacqueline. Think, think, think. They don't have. It neither, neither. <laughs> Any. Any. It's cursory. Okay, they don't have a thing. They don't have a thing. Man, they don't have a thing in that store. They don't have a thing in that store. No tienen ni una cosa. No tienen una cosa. Okay. They that don't... sounds a uh, song of uh, Aerosmith. And I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, true. So more examples. Marisol, can somebody help me, please? My throat is getting dry. Marisol hadn't never heard of the movie. Hmm. Repeat, Gabriel. Heard. 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 Heard, heard. the movie. Okay, what is the correct way of saying it? Marisol never hear of the movie. Had never. Um, Marisol had never heard of the movie. Excellent. Marisol had never heard of the movie. Had never hear, I'm sorry. <laughs> never hear of the movie and we have heard here you have Did, here here why the why the the verbs change why can somebody give me a response to that question because uh, we're just a simple perfect um, uh, 
I'll tell you the answer. Let me give you an answer. This is incorrect. Okay, that's incorrect. You are right, Alida. We are okay. in the D because this is past, pay attention, past perfect. So a lesson really quick. The difference between present perfect and past perfect is the auxiliary. You see? The auxiliary in the past perfect is in past, had. Okay? You got it? Si lo, si lo entendieron? No. no. Okay. <laughs> la, difer yeah. la diferencia entre el presente perfecto y el pasado perfecto, pues es esa. El auxiliar está en presente, have o has, si es presente perfecto. Si es pasado perfecto, el auxiliar está en pasado. Had. Todo el tiempo va a ser had, had, had. Y siempre se respeta, como el Eira lo decía, el verbo en su forma pasada a participio. ¿Ya? Yes. Ok. Good. Let's move on. <laughs> I haven't no money for such things. I haven't any money. For such things. For such things. Para tales cosas. Okay. Next. Patty. Mm. I don't know, teacher. No, just read. Just read, please. Ah, okay. Um, I have never seen no things. No thanks, thanks. No thanks. Thanks. Okay. And what is the correct form? Patty? Um, so the right form is. Just read. Just read it, please. Just read. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. So I have never seen any tanks. So what is wrong here? We're using, what, what are the negative words? Okay, let's define the negative words. In the first sentence, where is the negative word? Never. 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 Excellent, thank you. That's the first word, negative word. Okay, now in this case, we don't remove it. What we did is remove, we removed the neglection here. Okay, we just removed the neglective part. Okay, and we keep never. Okay, what about the next one? I have no money for such things. Any? Wait, no. negative. Okay, so no is a negative word that we are going to remove or change in this case. I haven't, okay, any money for such things. Okay. So I have never seen no tanks. Tanks. I have never seen no tanks. Okay, and the correct, what's the negative word here? Never. To. Never? Okay. No. What about no? Yeah, both. So you have double negatives. Okay, here is one, here's the other. Here is one, okay. And there's no other in this one because it's the correction. But here is the negative, and here is the other negative. And here, and here, and here. You got it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, two negatives in one sentence. Impossible. Let's move on. Okay. Try to do this on your notebook. If you have a notebook with you. I hardly speak. Hardly speak. I couldn't hardly speak. She has enough food. Okay, do it yourself. Do it by yourself on your notebook. If you have a notebook handy. I couldn't speak.
Okay, give me just one second, please. Try to do the exercises on your notebook, okay? Robert is a dog, okay? Right? Robert? Okay. Yeah. Could be a dog. Could be a snake. A bear. A duck. He, a what goose. means Land Rover? <laughs> I can't remember right now. Hold on. Land Rover. Land Rover. I think the spelling is different, isn't it? Okay, vagabundo de tierra, rubber, vagabundo, interesting. Okay, ready? Good, let's check your answers. Go. So, so there you have the answers. So I couldn't hardly speak. The right way should be, I could hardly speak. I could hardly speak because hardly is the negative form, right? Let me grab this thing again. Okay. Hardly is the negative form and couldn't. So we're neglecting twice. She hasn't no food. Hasn't no food. So we keep no. We have, I'm sorry, she has no food. She hasn't no food. No, she has no food. Can I say she hasn't food? If you want. No, it sounds weird. Yes. It sounds weird. It sounds better. She has no food. She hasn't food. She has no food, okay. Or as Aleida said, she hasn't any, she hasn't any food. She hasn't any food. Okay. I am sure they didn't have no car. Where are the negative sentences there? Where are the negative uh, clauses? I am sure they didn't have no other car. Didn't. Didn't, did not, uh huh. No. no, okay. I am sure they didn't have any other car, okay. Dad can't hardly hear me from my room. Okay, again, negatives. Can't, can't, uh -huh. and hardly. Good, so I just keep one that can hardly hear me from my room. Exactly, hardly, I keep hardly. Rubber won't bite nobody. Where's the 
what are the double negatives here? We have no, not, nobody. nobody, no body. Okay, so I changed nobody for anybody. Okay, Robert won't bite anybody. And I just keep want. Okay, I am sure she hasn't no books for us. Hasn't no. Hasn't no. Good, Alida. I am sure she hasn't any books for us. Good job. Okay, let's continue because we are going to do some exercises here so you can have this clear. Okay, try this. Anybody, anybody? Let me see. You didn't bring any of the food. Mm. No, none of the food. Mm. We didn't bring. Yeah, he didn't bring none. What do you think? Okay, remember negatives. What's negative? Any or none? None. So any. any. Any, because you already have didn't. It must be any, okay. Okay, it must be any. Thank you. Um, what about Saida? Haven't you? No. Ever. Haven't you ever been to a football game? Yeah, that's right. Haven't. Never. Thank you. Great job. Haven't you ever been to a football game? That's ever. Okay. Let's go with the next one. I need Gabriel. I have not seen anybody or nobody on the field yet. Anybody. Anybody. Great job. I have not seen anybody on the field yet. Okay, Frank. Okay. She didn't see the coach nowhere yeah that sounds like normal yeah. that sounds like that's what i will say you know that's what i will say anywhere anywhere yeah she didn't see the coach any, anywhere that is the correct way anywhere because you have didn't cannot know mm. where y el cuidado ese es el punto te puedes equivocar bien fácilmente a mí me, me hubiese pasado igual o sea, no, no poner atención en lo que estoy diciendo no she didn't see the coach anywhere anywhere Anywhere, nowhere, nowhere. Very similar. Okay. Let's see how you do with this. Their team doesn't have poor players. Their team doesn't any? have any poor players. Good, Jacqueline. Their team doesn't have any poor players. Great job. Let me see who could be next here. Patricia, can you try it, please? Can you try, we can find the base, the basketball? We can find the best basketball anywhere. Perfect. That's right, anywhere. Okay, now let's do this. We continue with the exercises. Let me zoom in. We will go one by one. So everybody, do you know, I'm sorry, do you want anything? No, I don't want anything. Anything, right? I cannot say I don't want nothing. Eso puede ser muy común que te equivocas. I don't want nothing. No quiero nada. Por pensar que nada. Sí. So, nada también puede ser anything. No quiero ninguna cosa. I don't want anything. Okay. Do you have any money? I don't have. I don't, I don't have money. No, I have, I have none. Look at the answer. No, I have none. Correct. No, I have none. Okay. Number three, Carla. Teacher, sorry, I have a question about the last. You can answer. No, I don't. Just no, I don't. Yeah, of course, of course. 
No, I don't. Do you have any money? No, I don't. Y es una excelente observación porque es una pregunta cerrada. Leida, very good. Do you have any money? Una pregunta cerrada y a las preguntas cerradas respondo sí o no. No, I don't. Or yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Very good. But since we are studying negatives, double negatives, you know. No, I have none. Okay. I, Thank you. Actually, you can also say, no, I don't have. And that's it. No, I don't have any. No, I don't have any. As well. Okay. Okay, thank you. Different options. Thank you for your question. Carla, did you see, did you see those people? No, I didn't see no one. Or anyone. No, you didn't. Anyone. Anyone. In fact, as a matter of fact, remember yesterday? In fact, yes. as a matter of fact, no one doesn't exist. Be careful. This doesn't exist. This goes two words, okay? No one. Not one word. No, okay. I didn't see anyone. I didn't see anyone. Very good. Thank you. Let me see who else is here. Eunice. Number four. Do you have any candy? No, I don't have. Hmm? I don't have any? Um, no, I don't none. have. No, I don't have any. Mm -hmm. That's the answer. I'm no, I don't have any. Why? Because you cannot neglect twice. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Be careful. This is a negative. Okay. Oh, the opposite. Sorry. This is a negative. None is a negative. Any is not a negative. Okay. That doesn't make sense. So, uh, no, I don't have any. Okay. Number five. Abigail, you're so quiet tonight. Um, didn't he tell you not to come here? No, anybody told me anything. Hmm. Or nobody, I don't know. Okay, no, nobody, or no, anybody told me. Didn't he tell you not to come here? No, no nobody. I will say no, nobody told me anything. No. Nobody. Anybody told me not anything. Oh, good, because here you have- Anybody. Yeah, it is nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody told me, and be careful with this one, okay? Anything. Anything, okay, I went to the opposite, okay? So if I went to the opposite, go for it. Okay, anything, okay? You cannot use anything and anybody on the same sentence. You can, you will be double, Make it a double negative if you do that. Anybody, anything. Sounds weird. Nobody told me anything. Nobody told me anything. No, nobody told me anything. No, nadie me dijo nada. Good. Okay. Let's go with number six. Dun, 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 dun. Josue. Yeah. How much money do you have? Not much. I hardly ever. I hardly have. Have. Mm -hmm. I have. Any. Perfect. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now repeat. Okay. I missed it. I'm sorry. Not much. Much. Listen. Not. N not. Much. M much. Not much. Not much. I hardly have any. I hardly have any. I hardly have any. Uh, I hardly have any. Hardly I have. Hardly, ha hardly have ever. Any. Marcela Gomez. Hello. <laughs> okay, number seven. Hello. Go with number seven. Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Nowhere. I'm staying right here. Excellent. Nowhere. I'm staying right here. I'm staying right here. I'm staying right here. Perfect. Very good. Saida again. Number eight. So you are staying right here? That's right. I, I'm not going anywhere. Excellent. Now, guys, en este punto, ya intermedio tres, necesito que entonen. Esto va para todos, eh? Listen, so you're staying right here. So, oh, so there's a comma. So you're staying right here. That's right. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Try to intonate. Picture, picture yourself in that situation. So you're staying right here. That's right. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Good job. Let's go with number nine, Marilena. Okay. Do you know him well? Uh, no. I barely don't know him. Okay. Hmm. So here you have a negative word, and here you have an barely, barely. I barely. I barely repeat. No. Barely. Barely. No, I barely know him. Know him. No. Know him. Him. Okay, everybody, pay attention. You say him. Him. Okay. Do you know him? him. Well? Yeah. Do you know him well? No, I barely know him. No, I barely know him. No, I barely know him. Okay. Can you translate this sentence? Anybody? Frank? Yes. How do you translate this sentence? No, I barely know him. Uh, uh, no, uh, lo conozco poquito. Okay. Yeah. No, Escasamente o algo así. Apenas. No, apenas lo conozco. Pernitas. Yes. No, a poquitito. A poquitito, okay. Okay. An antillo. An antillo. <laughs> Frank or Ricardo, Ricardo, can you try number 10, please? Try number 10. Hola, de nuevo. Yo te lo voy a mandar. Okay. okay. Richard, number 10. Ah, uh, hello. Yep. Okay. And uh, the, the, the Preston say any day, any, see any day. Anything. Anything. Huh? Anything. No. Uh, no, he, no, he did no say nothing. Hmm. So here you have again two negatives, right? Two negatives and other way. You have mm -hmm. and you have no. Oh, that is incorrect. No. Mm -hmm. You have to say no. He said nothing. Mm -hmm. Listen, nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. No. no, he said nothing. No, he said nothing. Okay. No, he said He said nothing. Okay, good job. Let's move on. Thank you, Richard. Good. And let's do this really quick, okay? This is uh, another example. I just want to make sure that you're following it. Did you get this topic really quick? Okay, anybody, just anybody. Why didn't... Tell me there was a party tonight. Anyone. Anyone. Got it? Why didn't anyone tell me there was a party tonight? Okay, next. Didn't you ask about giving you a ride? Anyone. 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 Didn't you 
ask anyone about giving you a ride? Can somebody translate that question? Can somebody? I barely, I barely know. Question? I don't know his brother. Oh, his brother. I barely, know. I barely know his brother. I barely don't know his brother. Mm. Mm. Barely twice. I barely know his brother. Oh, I barely right. know his brother. Remember. Don't know. Don't. And barely are negative words. So you cannot use them together. I barely know. Yes. Apenas, apenitas. Okay. Next. No, none of the things she said, none of the things she said made sense or didn't make sense. Made. 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 None of the things she said made sense. Ninguna de las cosas que ella dijo Tuvo sentido. sentido. Tuvo. Tuvo sentido. Made, passed. Very good. Neither of them knew. 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 Going. Okay. Perfect. Patricia, you got it. Yes. Right. Let's see. Number six. Didn't you understand? Any. 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 None. Any of the things he said. You have didn't. Esto, mucho cuidado con las, las preguntas en negativa siempre les pueden dar este problema. Be careful. Didn't you understand any of the things he said? Okay, this is this is this is this is, this is no accident. Uh, this is an, this is an accident. This is an accident. Sounds better. This is this is an, an accident. This is an, an accident. This is no accident okay so romantic okay yeah that boy never <laughs> that boy anything anything, anything right mm, yeah that boy never does anything mm -hmm. right okay mm -hmm. our dog won't let anyone 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 pet him but me pet him but me okay can somebody translate this sentence sentence number nine how do you say that in spanish or dog who won't let anyone pet him but me. Nuestro perro no deja que ninguna otra mascota se nos acerque, se me acerque, o se le acerque. No. Es su mascota. No deja que nadie lo acaricie. Excellent, Carla, very good. Pet him. Do you pet your pet? Ooh. Yep. And with boys, with babies, or with humans, actually, you say pamper. If you want to consentir someone, you say, let me pamper you. Let me pamper you. Déjame consentirte. Let me pamper you. Okay? Last one. Last one. You can go to a bar without... Any money. Thank you. Excellent. Any money. That's very important. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, please pay attention. Brand, 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 brand. Increase brand awareness. You know, like six years ago, let me think. Hmm. Yeah, six years ago, I met a guy. I met a guy who was great. I mean, his name was Manny. Manny Manito. And Manuel, Manuel, right? But we used to call him Manny, uh, you know, caring. And he had this great visionary idea of making eggs pizza. But he said, you know, I cook pizza for my family. I actually said, I actually have the sauce jars the sauce jars on the fridge. I actually bought a special freeze, freeze uh, freezer, a special freezer, a very small freezer to put- Icebox? What? Wait. Icebox? Icebox, yeah. To put all of these jars with tomato sauce on the freezer for six months. The oldest, Tomato sauce that I have is six months old. 
and I use it to make eggs, pizza for my kids, my friends, you know. And I was like, hey, that's a great idea. Why don't you sell it? Why don't you come up with a business? And he said, yeah, someday I will make an egg pizza, you know. And I have thought about it. And I said, why don't we start a business with, you know, business uh, with a pizza made of eggs? That sounds delicious. If you like eggs, it's delicious, you know, they're very nutritive. So how do you do it? And then pizza makes with too much effort. <laughs> That's a synonym. Yes, that will be a synonym. So I thought about it and we started a business. And the first thing that I thought about is when you start any business, brand recognition is very important. Is the name appealing for the customers? Does the name describe what your product is? And in this case, it does. It exactly describes what the product is, X pizza. So I thought, how do you create brand recognition with this? Then I thought about sending emails to every customer that I sold pizza to. I will be sending an email, getting their feedback, making a survey. Hey, did you like the pizza? What will you improve in the pizza? And, you know, also make calls, a follow-up call, a follow-up call, which is after the sale, call the customer the next week, okay? Have a team, have a team calling customers next week. Hey, did you like the pizza last week? There's a, there's a promotion right now going on. Would you like to order another pizza? Okay, any complaints about the pizza? Just get- He give, he give free the pizza. It could be, yeah. Yeah, but the point is, follow up with the customer. And the last thought, the last thought I got is to give my customers an idea of other products that I'm selling. So I thought about doing an info, infographic, this is not working, give me one second. So I thought about making an infographic about that and it actually works. So all of these guys that I'm doing here are options that you have to create brand awareness among your customers. Okay, todos entendieron qué es lo que hice con el negocio de la pizzería para crear brand awareness? No, we didn't. I'm speaking in Spanish. Oh my God, and you didn't answer. Oh God. I want to say something. Okay, just to close the class. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. Look at this. This is an infographic, okay? It's an example of an infographic and you are going to get hungry right now, okay? This is an example of an infographic. So you have all of the different types of pizza, crazy pizzas that you can try. French bread, baked ziti, ziti, tomato sauce, ricotta, mozzarella, grandma slice. Okay, let's look at the craziest one. What's the craziest one? New York slice, Chicago pizza. It looks like a pie. This looks like a pie. Crispy deep dish, crust, cheese, fresh tomato sauce, book smoked sal salmon pizza. Oh my God. No, thank you. Okay, white Bianca, garlic, ricotta, and mozzarella. Oh my God. Salad pizza. Uh, okay. Bagel, bagel. Okay. And so on. So there are many options. There is, do you think this is appealing? Anybody, do you think this is appealing? <laughs> New York, uh, New York style and Chicago style. Yeah. Ch Chicago pizza, it's delicious. They're delicious, they're delicious. Kebab, kebab pizza. Kebab. <laughs> From Sweden. Okay, mm -hmm. meat, cold flour, ne ne Neapolitan, oh my God, okay. 
Let's look at the Roman Altaglio. Big square slices with various toppings. Hawaiian. Hawaiian, that's very common and delicious too. Okay, Scottish pizza cr crunch. Empanada. Yeah, that's an empanada, definitely. A Scottish pizza crunch. Yeah, Maltese, fresh tomato, potato, anchovies, olives and rosemary. Tuna and sweet corn. Tuna and sweet corn. Ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look at that. White clam pie. Little neck clams, almejas. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's just, okay. So that's the idea. This is an infographic. Look how small it is and you can make it bigger. This is, this is a very good marketing option. And it's the trend as we spoke before. Okay. So, um, Rafa, excuse me, uh, what, up, what app we can use for Mega Info? To make an infographic. Okay. Um, I have no idea. I, I was looking <laughs> at a video, I was look, watching a video before and I was planning to present it to you, but you know, there's copyright involved, so we have to be careful. In Canva. I use the Canva. I use the Canva. Yeah. You can use Canva, so that's right. Have it on the top of my tongue thank you the tip of my tongue okay good let me check the attendance just right before we finish the class we're almost done we're missing five minutes so where are you guys here okay let's do it again Carla Eugenia Molino Barraza here Marvin Josue Aguilar Marquez Marvin? Here. Oh, I see you. Okay. Bertha Patricia Alemán de Argueta. Here. Ismenia Abigail Trejo Hernández. Here. Xiomara Hernández de Linky. Alvin José Silva Romero. Here. Marilena Tantura. I'm here. Eunice de la Paz Jiménez. Here. Jonathan Alexander Castillo Ramos. Here, teacher. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Calderón. Here, teacher. Jose Ernesto Molina Guzmán. Melissa Ivette Aguilar Flores. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Here. Saida Carolina Hernández Flores. Here. Walter Abraham Hernández Sánchez. Never here. Francisco Adrián Martínez Villalobos. Here. Always here. Thank you. Maria Soledad Gomez. Here. Vanessa Alexander Ortiz Díaz. And Aleida Raquel Vasquez Uncina. Here, teacher. Freezing that part. Okay, guys. Thank you uh, for being with me here. Quiero tomar esos tres minutos que nos quedan para recordarles que eh, realicen todas las tareas que están pendientes en la plataforma. Hoy en la noche voy a dar una chequeada a eso y le voy a escribir en unos minutos eh, para reforzar eso, ¿no? Porque sí es necesario que mañana ya esté terminado eso para cerrar su módulo. Eh, necesito que le decía a Ricardo que se quedara. ¿Dónde está Ricardo? Richard. Richard. Oh, I got it. Ok. So, Ricardo se queda. Por favor, vamos a tener también a María Soledad. Si se puede quedar, por favor, unos 10 minutitos. Me parecía. Ah, eh, Abigail, por favor. Abigail también. Había alguien más que dije que se iba a quedar. Oh, Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay. ok. Son ustedes cuatro, porfa. Se quedan al final de la clase conmigo para que hagamos un pequeño refuerzo. Um, aún nos queda eh, temas que cubrir dentro de su manual y mañana lo vamos a hacer súper rápido. Eso va a ser. Muy fácil, le suplico que completen los ejercicios en la página 37 de su libro. Ok. Hay dos ejercicios ahí que trabajar. Y mañana vamos a continuar con uh, Building Vocabulary, which is part of this brand awareness that we're looking at. And we're going to close with uh, loyalty. We're going to talk about loyalty. El, la lealtad de los clientes es un tema muy importante en call centers, más que todo. Hay muchas maneras de, de medirlo por medio de encuestas. 
es muy importante y es algo recomendable si tienes un negocio. How do you do that? Ok, chicos. Preguntas, inquietudes. Tienen un minuto para hablar de preguntas, alguna pregunta que tengan. Mañana vamos a contestar la encuesta, teacher. Sí, los que no la han realizado aún, eh, porque solo se puede hacer una vez, eh, mañana a las 9 de la noche vamos a hacer una pausa de la clase y ahí vamos a llenar el formulario paso a paso, todos juntos, ¿verdad? hasta que digamos, del en submit. Y por último hay que tomarle una, una, hay que hacer una captura de pantalla de, de eso. Eh, sería conveniente si ustedes no saben cómo tomar una captura de pantalla, eh, por ejemplo, con el teléfono, pues en algunos casos presionar el botón de apagado y el, y el de volumen hacia abajo es lo más común y ya tenés una captura de pantalla. A veces es los dos botones de volumen. Entonces, averigüense esta noche o mañana cómo tomar una captura de pantalla. ¿Ok? Screenshot. Good. Bien, chicos, los veo mañana a la misma hora. Se quedan los que mencioné, por faz. And I'll see you, okay? Take care. Good night. 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 Good Bien, eh, vamos a abordar un tema. Algunos, no sé si algunos han estado. A ver, levántenme la mano. ¿Quién no ha estado en sesiones uno a uno? Nunca no estuvieron en sesiones uno a uno. Ricardo, definitivamente tú no estuviste. María, tú no estuviste no. conmigo. No. Abigail, hemos intentado y nunca se ha podido. <ríe> ok. Sí, eh, Carla, tú nunca estuviste conmigo en sesiones uno a uno. Se traba, Carlos. Ok, good. A Gabriel me parece que sí lo tuve. Bien, vamos a hacer algo súper rápido para eh, mejorar su pronunciación. Esto, chicos, es una clave que a mí me ha servido mucho, incluso, aunque yo ya sé hablar inglés, pero hasta ahí he encontrado vocabulario muy útil y pronunciación. Ok. Yo voy a buscar en Google, ¿ok? Una uh -huh. página que se llama Wrong Chan. ¿Ok? Esta es una página de open source, digamos. Wrong Chan. Así, R-O-N-G, guión, C-H-A-N-G. O solo pueden poner Wrong Chan, así nomás. Miren. Uh -huh. La primera opción que le sale, ahí está. La primera opción que le sale. Ok. Y con esta página nos vamos a ir a donde dice Speaking is easy. Speaking is easy. Over 300 conversations. Ok. Bien. Recuerden que esto se está grabando. Pueden volver a ver el video en YouTube o, perdón, en, en um, inglés corporativo. Se meten a su cuenta, ¿verdad? Y, todo, y pueden ver la clase de hoy. Ok. Speaking is easy. Ahora tengo un index, un español, un índice, un índice de otras opciones, temas, topics, ok, tengo school life, jobs, housing, yo no denigro, si quieren ir en orden chivo, va, agarramos el primer tema, dentro de ese tema hay diferentes topics también, hay en school hay 22, yo agarro uno, si quiero ir en orden chivo, y aquí ya tengo un audio con sus, um, ¿qué sería esto en español? Sus, um, script, eh, el diálogo, el diálogo, ¿sí? Escrito. Entonces, ojo, ¿cómo yo voy a ocupar esto para mejorar mi pronunciación? ¿Ok? Número uno, yo no voy a traducir esto. Ya sé español, yo no lo voy a traducir. Sino que voy a reescribir esto en un cuaderno o lo imprimo, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Y luego, puedo incluso descargar el audio, mira. ¿Viste? Ah, okay. Que hay tres botoncitos, le das download y pones el audio. Y empezás. Hey, you're in my English class. 
Hey, you're in my English class. No, no me salió bien. Voy para atrás. <laughs> hey, you're in my English class. A ver. Hey, you, you're in my English class. Very good. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I, I am. am. Ese es el punto, Gabriel. Oí. I, I am. am. Am no. Oí. I am. Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? A ver. Did, Did you, you buy, buy the textbook, textbook yet? yet? Did you buy the textbook yet? Did you buy the textbook yet? Did you buy the textbook buy yet? The textbook yet? Textbook yet. Mm. Así, exacto. La misión de ustedes ahorita es escuchar y tratar de repetir lo más exacto, o sea, como se escucha. Entonces, después de repetir, escuchar y repetir, escuchar y repetir, venís y te grabás con tu teléfono. Te grabás leyendo todo esto. Los dos roles, los dos roles, los lees tú. Luego, venís aquí otra vez. Y mientras que le das play a esto, le das play a tu teléfono al mismo tiempo. Dos al mismo tiempo. Uno, dos, tres, y le das play. Y escuchas. Empezá a juzgarte a ti mismo. Y... Entonces, dije, dije, expensive. Y expensive, híjole. Y dijo él, expensive. Expensive. Okay. Yo, tengo la plata, yo tengo la aplicación Speak English. Mm -hmm. ahí, ahí, me, ahí me puedo grabar. Uh -huh. y, y, ¿Y quién te corrige? Eh, ahí mismo, ahí mismo la intercambio los papeles y ahí escucha cómo se pronuncia y cómo lo he pronunciado yo. Envi ahí mismo me lo graba en la aplicación. Enviarme el link, Gabriel. Envíame el link para, para probar esa plataforma. Me llega. Eh, sí, porque al final el punto es que tú tengas... En este caso, esto se llama uh, enseñanza auto... Uh, autoprogramable, le llamo. O sea, tú solo... Autocorregible. Tú solo te estás eh, corrigiendo. Y llegar a ese nivel en el que tú solo te corregís, pues ya, es un paso gigantesco. Es un paso gigante. Y eso solo se logra por medio de la escucha y... Repetición, escucha repetición dejando de lado el español. Y yo, yo me he escuchado, ¿verdad? Y lo que yo siento, en lo que yo fallo, es que como que no articulo y no logro como pronunciar bien la palabra. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso, ese es, mi, ese es mi, mi punto débil. Por eso un ejercicio que a mí me gusta hacer con los alumnos, no se los he hecho ustedes porque pues está fuera de, de lo que se me ha pedido acá, es que me envíen un audio de 30 segundos y yo les envío de regreso el feedback, o sea, 30 segundos contestando cualquier pregunta. What did you do yesterday? Si su área de oportunidad es el pasado simple. What did you do yesterday? Okay. Me mandan un audio de 30 segundos y yo les reenvío eso corregido. O les digo, mira, esto, esto y esto. Repetí, repetí, repetí esta palabra. Ok. Ok. En English. Ok. Y así, ahora, luego de haber repetido, ya lo tengo, no, hombre, ya puedo decir, hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. How much is it? Hoy, muy probablemente vas a decir, how much? How much? Okay. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Okay. The original price is over $200. How do you read this, this number? How do you read this number? $200. Maria? $200. Hundred. 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 Y con todo el respeto, y necesito que agarres más, ¿cómo se dice? Valor. Valor. Más confianza. confianza en ti mismo. Confianza en ti mismo. Y que hable fuerte, sí. Empezar a hablar. Ahora, cuando estés haciendo este ejercicio, te recomiendo que te pongas unos audífonos y le des todo el volumen. 
y empecé a escucharte, cerrar los ojos, cerrar los ojos, repetir lo que estás diciendo, irle poniendo pausa y hasta que te salga todo eso, ¿ok? You can do it, sí se puede hacer, ¿ok? Uh, let's see, we can buy from a former student, we could also, so, uh, después de haber aprendido todo, repetir, 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 vengo yo y entonces sí, ya puedo darme, hey, espérame, ¿qué es esto? Former, what is former, guys? What is former? La mejor manera de entender una palabra es en contexto, si no quieres traducirla directamente. We could buy it from a former student. Hmm. Ok, so está hablando de comprar. El precio original son 200 dólares. We could also buy the used version. Comprar la versión. La versión. La usada. Y este es, perdón, Gabriel. Eh, como a precio de estudiante. Hmm. Former student. Ok. No, no entiendo qué quiere decir former. Lo voy a buscar. Y te vas al traductor. Former es un estudiante anterior. Former is like saying ex student. Ex student. Ex estudiante o an okay. estudiante anterior. Ok. Y así vas. Ok. El punto de traducir, a menos de que no entendas una palabra, pero hasta el final. Caso extremo, no logro, no logro hacer esto que me dice el teacher. Reescribo todo esto. Ojo. Reescribo todo esto y empiezo. Ok. Hey. Okay. You were in my in class. Empiezo a aplicar lo que yo ya conozco, que es el español. Ok, y empiezo a aplicarlo. Yes, I am. Ahora, este es un caso extremo, súper extremo, para entender la fonética de las palabras. Ok, yes, I am. Hey, you were, you were in my English class. <ríe> Qué bien quedó. Ok. So, esa es la mejor manera, chicos. Es la recomendación que les quería dar para mejorar la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Les veo mañana. Cuídense por tenerse. Y hagan la tarea, por favor. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Good night. Bye.